All right, YouTube Reverse, it's your boy T.I.M. AKA Tim Diggity, Tim Diggity AKA T.I.M. So I'm about to get out here, you know, with the Eohora, the X5. It's damp, I shouldn't, but I'm gonna get out here anyway and take a ride. You know, hopefully I'll just take a ride, not a L. But, you know, my luck is what it is, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna get out here, um, try and do the range test. I'm gonna do all electric. The highest gear, you know, the fastest speed, and see what we do. I'm gonna have my phone set up as well for this GPS, as well as see what their um, what their display says the speed is. All right, so uh, video to follow. Get at it. All right, YouTube reverse. Zero on the trip. I got the. Helmet cam on. Hopefully, it's not gonna be too windy up there for you. I'm gonna go to third gear. We're gonna make our way to Lowe's and see if we can get the end back. All electric, unless I absolutely have to. Unless I absolutely have to pull it. Pedal, I mean. Trust me, I don't want to. Hopefully, I don't get caught in the rain, too. I'm noticing about four miles an hour difference at least on that the GPS the app that I got versus the uh, the display that they have so all right go to my favorite riding spot load done it on the bicycle before but it was a 100% pedal bike so, quiet for a little bit hopefully it's not too windy for real See if I got the number on there. Yeah, it's on there. Right. I don't know. I ain't too impressed so far with the uh, with the pull. Now I was messing with the P settings a little bit. I ain't gonna act like I wasn't. So I don't know. Does this doesn't seem nothing like yesterday. Something here. I'm gonna pause out for a second here. I'm just gonna mess with these settings. I don't know what any of this is. Put it on three. Whatever that is, it's on three now. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna put it on two. Oh no, all right, I see what that is. That's miles per hour and kilometer. All right, well. Oh, I don't even know what this is. All right, uh, yeah. The best way I know to get out of it, we'll go ahead and just hit that. Yeah, that didn't help. Matter of fact, that might have made it worse. All right. Let me try that again. I know it ain't that one. I messed with this one, right? I put the, oh, that's the brightness display. Okay, duh. You put this on one for no that's the brightness yeah i don't know what this is. oh miles per hour so i really ain't do nothing so i don't know what this thing dragging the volt and volume okay just tell me what the what these battery supposed to mean I guess uh, huh. yeah I don't know what any of this is I need to uh, go back and read I was 
just throwing that Yumi scooter up. This is really a, a hill test, really, because I know it'll make it the lows and back, because that's only about four mi eight miles around the trip, so. But that 500 watt high boy got me up here at about nine miles an hour. All right, so this is slowed up to about 15 on my dash. On mine, you can see it. All right, I ain't too mad. Kill a deer out there to attack deer, you know, trying to get me. But it feel like it. I mean, this probably does very well on a straightaway. And one of these the next dry day, I'm gonna try and go over to the uh, that Indian Head Trail because it's straight black. That's what I'd use to go to work anyway. two miles on the bike 2.1 according to its trip 
my app says two and a half but uh i was i don't know why but either way i dropped a uh, bar at two miles I like it y'all, I like it. I mean, I wish it could go faster. And I saw someone online put a motor on the, they modified one of their, um, the e-bike and put a, a front wheel, they put a motor on the front. You know, I gotta look into that. They bought a back wheel and put it on the front, put it that way, and wired it up. With a second battery, just for that motor. Because believe it or not, I got a 24 amp hour battery, 56 volt in the basement that some people sent to me because they thought that's what the problem was on my scooter. And it turned out it wasn't. And they said, just keep it. So, huh. four wheeling on twos you let's get it Lady, you got the light. Let's go. Man, I'm a I mean, got the thing falling on me and stuff. Sag it to the side and hit the button. Wait, wait. <laughs> they don't say that though, but that's funny. Because it did. Well, I don't see anybody coming. So I get to going. branches I should come down here with a with a hedge cutter and just trim them myself or a trimmer or whatever the hell they call trim it make it a, a little better for me yeah, they like this board ranging go to the middle up oh, no it's all the way across Wait, wait, wait. Stop. 
Bro, man, just trying to hit me twice. Like, what? Man, Cannon, can I live? Alright, it's still just one bar, but it's only four miles, according to the bicycle's trip. This almost make me feel like I'm on a motorcycle. Actually, only thing I will say is, and I don't know if it's because it's moving such a big wheel, but it sure makes a noise to mow it up. All right, I'm gonna go to my take a break spot real quick. Not that I really need to because I'm sitting. See how people disrespect you. We got a food truck. Chuck hitting, they hitting folks. There's always people there too. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, let's get back. Let's get back. Electric power all the way. Let's fix my thing on my side. <laughs> Can't have it poking. Still in third. Masks. Masks. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I like it. I hope it's recording. Can't never really tell. I don't know. Hey, I take it. Well, what is missed is that speed when you hit the throttle. Okay. Yeah, that is missed. But that's a scooter, you know. But the overall ride is comfortable. You know? Got up to 22, a little something, something. Well, hey, okay. I know I'm cheating as I'm on the electric, but it is what it is, right? Let's get it. I don't know about this load phone holder thing I got. Oh, I'm down a second bar. I'm only at three now. And I'm at five miles. What's going on? It's stated at 40 miles on electric. And I know that that's like first gear. 150 pounder flat surface no hills but still cut that in half at least you know give me something i just realized i'm out here riding through the water all wet out here and stuff hope i don't get a flat these tires are sort of off-roadish but the knobbies are spread out on the tire itself on the tread. I'd probably be better off getting some regular old tires. I'm gonna look into it though. Now I can see myself riding this to work. myself riding the scooter as well but I just gotta find out if I'll be able to take it in the building and plug it up while I'm at work this one here I can take the battery out throw it in my book bag go inside with the charger and plug it in I gotta see how that works perhaps I'll buy another charger I want to keep it at work It's a 
slight and a gradual incline. There it is, gradual. I'm only at 23. Oh, I'm down to two bars now. I dropped three and I'm not even at six miles travel. No pedal assist, all electric. It's not really cold out here. It's like the high, mid to high 60s. I just had a moment right there thinking does the E for an E Ahura stand for electric Ahura? Hmm. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. You think the E and E Ahura is electric Ahura? It's interesting, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to make this right and go down to this park that uh, the guy I rode with the other day took me to on the, when I was on the Y10. Yeah, I'm going to see that. See how this battery really does. I just don't like these kind of little back roads here. These people get B A N A N A S. You know what I mean when they be driving, acting like I'm in the way, which I probably sort of am. Next time I stop, I got a little turn on my little reflect the battery joints I got. I forgot I had to put them under the seat. They came with the flashlights I ordered. One of them I had already in the, when I ordered the same flashlight, it came with a second one. Put them on, let them blink so people see I'm there. Yeah, 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 I like it. I ain't gonna lie though, this is a heavy bike when you got a pedal. came to this park the other day and uh hey and just rode around now let me turn on my uh my blinkers what's going on man out to them and ask them what all these noises are that the motor makes outside of that up you know winding getting up the speed motor which I understand unless it's just a break-in period all right let's get out here and play Frogger let me hit the uh, the e-lane Got my blinkers on under the seat, so. Oh, look at that, they're doing the motorcycle course. I should ride over there. And, oh wait, I took the bell off, ain't no horn on here. <laughs> it's crazy. It's 
seven and a half miles only two bars left and I think the bars represented the amount of voltage so I gotta look it up again I gotta do some research on it because you know it's not like it's not like the uh, instruction manual that they send with it ever gives you any kind of good directions or, or help or anything, you know. You can jump on the sidewalk right here. Get out the way. I don't even know what the minimum voltage that you should run the battery down is, you know. I'm only doing the electric test just to see, you know, in, in case one day I just don't feel like pedaling coming back from work. But part of the reason for getting a bike that it, with pedal assist is to try and get that help right, you know. After getting out the military, you know, normally after so many years of people telling you you have to be a certain fit, a certain build, you know, you want your first year out, you just like, man, whatever, I'm gonna do whatever. And I, I was no different, you know? I ate whatever, did whatever, or didn't do whatever. Like, you know, I'm paying for, like I'm paying for a membership to a said gym that I don't even attend, so, you know? But yeah. All right, my phone ringing here, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I hope I'm turning it off and on. <laughs> I might be turning it on and off for all I know. But anyway, 8.6 miles, two bars left on the battery, which just, I thought that, I don't know what the two bars was like, maybe 44 on the voltage or something. I don't know, I, yeah. So let's see if we get back up this hill. You know, y'all see it coming? It's a nice little incline, you know. It ain't gradual, it's a straight incline, but we'll see. It seems like no matter what I'm doing, this thing only get up to 29. I guess I could have been coasting back there instead of holding electric up. It is what it is, right? All right, let's see what we get. You know, now I think about it, on gear two, I was getting, on their dash at least, it was saying it was 26. And on gear three, it only got up to 28. So, uh, I don't know if gear two saves the battery a lot more, maybe. You know, because what's two miles an hour, really? All right, I'm down to 14. Well, at least theirs and mine is close, you know, when you're going slow. I guess when you get up to speed, they want to, uh, I don't know, add on or do like a, a per percentage of a multiplier to make it look like you're going faster than you are. So. All right, well, we're going to turn here and ride this trail. Yeah, it smells like the zoo. That wind ain't killing you. They just building, tearing down all the, cutting all the trees down. Oh my God, that hit hard. Just killing us, cutting down all the trees. Why am I riding through the mud? What is the problem with you? There, but ain't nothing up there yet. Just, all they did was lay the road, or at least the uh, bottom part of the road. 
Oh, that's right. This trail runs out and it becomes sidewalk. Thing, uh, you can tell the voltage is down. I'm really struggling. Come on, lady, go past me if you're going. Go, Jesus Christ. Damn. You like drive. Fuck. Can I live, right? Look at these houses. Hundreds of thousands. Half a million dollars in this wood. You tell me. Wood. In the end, it, it don't look like wood, but wood. You gotta be careful when it rides. A nail or construction nail or some smell. Stuff mixed in. Town home, single. Oh my God, these are finished. Like that's weird. Lennar. Hey, people live down here already. It's crazy. So they got a Nova Adventure. Okay, wait, wait till I come and then you want to move. I like it. I like it. All right, YouTube reverse. I'm back at the house. So, uh, yeah, I took an L on the on the e-bike already, bro. I was riding. Now, all right, let, let me give you the backdrop. It's wet out because it was raining, right? I rode through the construction area. All right. Like I kept saying, these aren't the best tires. You know, these tires suck. Anywho, let me show you a little bit of damage here. You know what I mean? This is what we do out here. This is the real world, you know? I'm not saying do this, but let me show you. Hold on. Scraped up my tough joint, man. I love that kickstand. Yo, look at what it did to me. Scraped me up. You know what I mean? Put a, put a, put a hole in my, in my, in my G-Star, in, in my G-Star's pants, in my G-Star joints. Y'all ain't ready? I don't know what else. All the way to look like the fork. I got the fork there a little bit too. Right there a little bit, a little something. So naturally I didn't uh, finish the uh, drain, the battery drain, but it's all good. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. One day I will get out there when it's dry. You know, I mean, I was on the scooter earlier. I'm glad I ain't fall on that, right? But uh, yeah, when it's dry, I'll get out there and I'll really put it to the test. All right, then. Peace. Like, subscribe, comment. Holla.